What's up everyone? It's Clarice. We've got about three days left until Christmas and I wanted to show you these beautiful charcuterie chalets that are super easy to make instead of the traditional gingerbread houses. There's so many different ways to make these and you can really use any savory items that you have at home. I wanted to make this as a centerpiece, so it's mainly for decoration pieces, but I also wanted it to be edible. I found this gingerbread box from the Dollar Tree and then I just got a whole bunch of biscuits, pretzels, I got some pepperoni and the main icing for this is going to just be cream cheese. But again, you can all modify it to whatever you want. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to be covering our cardboard house with parchment paper, making sure that the tape just goes inside and is not actually touching any of the food that we're going to be eating. Once you've done the top, go ahead and do the actual box itself. That one's a little bit more easier than the roof part, but this is how it's going to look. And all you have to do is put the lid on. And now we're going to go ahead and measure the breadsticks that we're going to be putting on the houses. There is a shorter side and there's a longer side to this house. So I just basically cut enough to fill in all four sides of the house. We're going to do something different for the front of the house. So that involves these doors. I doubled up on those door crackers and pretty much all you have to do is measure the length that goes on the side of those doors. Now it's time to take our cream cheese and all you have to do is cover the whole house with this. If you don't want to get too dirty, I suggest maybe not doing the back first so that you can have something to hold on to, but you can also use gloves. This is probably really good if you are especially going to be sharing with other people so that it's a little bit more sanitary, but this is how it looks when it's done. And now we just have to put all of our log pieces that we have cut up. Just a side note, I found these long crackers in the Italian aisle. So if you're actually looking for them and they're not in the actual cracker section, they may be located somewhere else. You can also use pretzel rods, which I didn't find, but that's the thicker pretzels and those make for really nice log looking charcuterie cabins. For the roof, I went with pepperoni. Again, you can all use whatever type of deli meat you want. You can also use vegetables or even some types of cheeses, but I just went with the pepperoni because I really like the texture of this. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more cream cheese just on the top of this to make it look more festive and to make it look like snow. For the top part of our front of the house, I'm just going to be cutting some little rectangles out of these pepperonis and those are going to act like little bricks. Look how cute they are. It actually kind of looks like bricks. It's seriously amazing. <laughs> to add more texture and to just give it a little bit more depth, I'm adding a couple more of those breadsticks at the front. I also cut a couple more for the top, which is going to be our chimney. And then I added a little bit of cream cheese on that to make it look like snow. So it's not gonna be perfect. It's not gonna be flushed. You will have some gaps in between the houses, but you can also add these little pretzels that I just got from the dollar store. And then I went ahead to go and add those on the windows as well. And then I just added some white cheddar cheese on the inside to give it some more texture. Because it's Christmas time, we have to add a wreath at the front. So I'm just using some rosemary. This one I actually got from our backyard, yay. And I'm just using a green twisty tie to just put it all together. And then I'm just gonna give this guy a little bit of a haircut just so it's not lopsided and it's more circular looking. I actually took some red peppers and just cut little circles out of them just to give it some color. And then I just stuck some cream cheese on that. And then all you have to do is put this at the front and it looks so beautiful and gorgeous. 
And we're actually done with the actual chalet part of our DIY. And so what you want to do is just put this on a cheese board and just create magic around the chalet, basically making it look like an actual log house cabin with some snowman, some pathways, and even add some trees just like this. So surrounding the chalet is where you would put your other deli meats, vegetables, your other cheeses. If you did want to make your chalet all edible, then you can go ahead and maybe get a big loaf of bread and shape it into a house. But I'm actually super in love with the way this one turned out. Aren't these just super cute? I'm so in love with it. Not only does it look good, but it could also taste really good as well it's a great activity to do with some friends if you enjoyed this diy don't forget to give it a big like also don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you think i hope you all have a very merry christmas and i will see you in the next video take care